last week where I was uh, talking about uh, Trump and Black Lives Matter and uh, uh, I called it a preface because it was really a preface to the question that I had, which was just like, what's up with uh, Black Lives Matter in the Trump days that we're in now? Um, because uh, I haven't really heard much from them. Um, and I mean, I've pretty much been engaged with the media the same way that I was before the election. Um, and of course it could be that we just haven't seen as many, um, more often than not innocent black, uh, people being murdered by police, which would be great. Sadly, it's kind of hard for me to believe, but that would be great if that's the reason why, um, you know, I haven't been seeing much related to, um, uh, black lives matters in, in the media. Um, you know, uh, believe it or not. Although I am black and I do know that racism is real, I do understand the fact, the unfortunate fact that um, people of color, black people, uh, Hispanic people are disproportionately affected by police misconduct, police brutality and police killings. That's a fact. Those do still exist in Trump's America. Um, uh, I think some people kind of think that if you just recognize that fact and you support an effort to address that reality that you're like a part of Black Lives Matter it's like Black Lives Matter is this like huge organization uh, comparable to like the Black Panthers in the you know late 60s 70s where it's like I don't know I mean a lot of people just support the cause believe it or not a lot of people black white and otherwise, you know, I got a comment on my video, like, why, why don't Black Lives Matter include whites, Asians, and Indians? And I'm like, because they're addressing an issue that disproportionately affects black people. I mean, that's like going to Mothers Against Drunk Driving and saying, like, well, why don't you, why aren't you trying to address the heroin epidemic? Why aren't you trying to address the prescription drug abuse epidemic? Um, because those are serious issues, but I'm involved with this one for whatever reason. Maybe I lost a child to drunk driving or what have you. How? Yeah. So anyway, um, I know that I probably should be very mindful of who I reply to and not reply to a lot of people. Anyway, that's side the point. So yeah, I mean, this is in no way like an attack on them. Like, where y'all at? How come y'all not doing nothing? Not at all. Because I don't, like I said, I don't know. I did a uh, extremely brief cursory like Instagram search to see if they had anything and I don't think I saw much on their official page um, but um, so yeah I mean really I'm just I'm just uh, wondering you know inspired by that that NPR conversation um, I'm just wondering what's been up with Black Lives Matter uh, in the past few months now that we are living under the Trump <laughs> organization or disorganization, I find it hard to believe that 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 uh, <laughs> stories related to Black Lives Matters would, are being repressed because it's like, come on, we got YouTube, we got Facebook, Facebook Live, social media. So I feel like there's there's, I mean, we have more of a, a platform, uh, and a, you know, democratic and. Uh, more or less free to access platform so uh yeah i said all that just to basically say what's up with black lives matters these days